radio pioneer and conservative talk show host Rush Limbaugh has died. The Missouri native passed away this morning at the age of 70 after a year-long battle with lung cancer. My goal was to be the most listened to show, biggest radio show in the country. You all have made it possible. His reputation as a right-wing diehard gained popularity in the late 80s as he became the face of conservative talk radio. Locally, Limbaugh's syndicated show could be heard for decades on KMOX. He was often criticized for bigoted and racist commentary. He was a staunch ally of President Trump, who awarded him with the Presidential Medal of Freedom during last year's State of the Union address. Rush Limbaugh was proud of his Missouri roots. A bust of Limbaugh sits in the state capitol rotunda in the Hall of Famous Missourians. Yeah, he grew up about 90 miles south of St. Louis in Cape Girardeau. Our Casey Nolan has reaction from his hometown tonight. Time for broadcast excellence. Before he was broadcasting to millions across the country. I am Rush Limbaugh, America's real anchorman. The story goes Rush Limbaugh was practicing his radio delivery as an eight-year-old in the basement of his boyhood home in Cape Girardeau. The local lore on little Rusty Limbaugh was uh, 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 colorful. Brad Hennebrink now lives in the house where Rush grew up. Him throwing water balloons at uh, trick-or-treaters. From that window up there where my bedroom is now. His first job as a teenager was shining shoes at this Cape barber shop. Rush shunned the family law business and dropped out of Southeast Missouri State to chase a radio career at stations around the country. Fired multiple times, his style eventually caught on in the late 80s when he found his footing with a conservative talk show on AM radio, credited with reinventing the format and saving the AM industry. Everything he said or done was just a truth, not lies, no makeup. He told it the way it was. But while Limbaugh drew faithful followers with the most popular radio show in the country, others often heard his show as blatant racism. The NFL all too often looks like a game between the Bloods and the Crips without any weapons. There, I said it. Recently, he embraced President Trump and his policies, and Trump repaid his loyalty with the nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. We've lost uh, a great personal friend. We've lost an American icon. Former Missouri Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder grew up with Limbaugh. He was generous with his time, generous with his resources. He put Cape Girardeau on the map in a way that uh, I don't believe any son of Cape Girardeau ever has. Whatever a person thinks of the Rush Limbaugh legacy, there is no denying there is interest in his history here in Cape Girardeau. The local tourism board even prints a Rush Limbaugh pamphlet for those coming to town for a self-guided tour of Limbaugh landmarks. In Cape Girardeau, Casey Nolan, Five on Your Side.